Hello, buckaroos. Cowboy Conjunction here. And but or nor. Words that's used to connect phrases, clauses, and sentences. When you are trying to make sense of something and get other folks to understand. Well, you probably wonder, are there any other words besides them? Well, sure. Because, although, yet, since, unless, while, were, there's a couple of three of them right there. I guess you're wondering why I'm making this monologue. I'm just wondering if you know that uh, there's coordinating conjunctions, correlative conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions, and conjunctive adverbs. Now, that there's a whole mouthful of stuff to say probably use them every day in your everyday speech. Well, you know, how do you identify a conjunction? Is that what you're wondering? Well, it's probably a word that's a connector between other words other phrases, other clauses, in sentences. You know, like prepositions, they are only a limited number of conjunctions in the English language. You gotta learn a couple of them if you want to get people to pay attention. Because without them you can't write sentences that are varied. By varied, I mean they all are not built the same way. You know that's boring stuff. You ever drive down a street and see every house that looks the same? That's boring stuff. It works the same way when you're talking to folks. Well, how do you learn conjunctions? Uh, you practice. You know, you get your yets and your ors and your sos and your butts and your ands together and you try and make up something. Just that simple. Now, a long, long time ago, when I was about, oh, maybe 10, I gave a little presentation in front of my schoolmates. That's how I got the name Cowboy Conjunction. And I, I got them to buy off on the fact that they could not convince other people of their ideas unless they knew words to connect other words, phrases, and sentences. Y'all know that makes up a paragraph. Paragraph is the big chunk of stuff that you see in books. It usually starts off with a little empty space. That's the signal that you start in a paragraph. Well, as harmony would have it, uh, we don't always employ correct grammar in our speeches. You know, we use words like reactor when we're talking about tractor. We say audacity when we're talking about snottiness. Well, you can Google and Google all you want. That'd help pick up on some conjunctions. Get your old, uh, what do they call them? Apple pods or something like that. Apple pods, peas in a pod. I don't know what they are, but 
They're modern, newfangled stuff that helps you pick up on a learning. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a fly in my throat. Well, Adobe <coughs> houses weren't built today, you know. Took a lot of mud and water and packing it all together to make bricks and then putting them together in stacks. And you do the same with words. Put one on top of another, one on the side of another, and one behind, one in front. Now, sometimes they don't make sense. You just don't take words and put them in any order. You gotta have some kind of conception. Concepcion, as the Spanish man say. To be able to uh, speak with clarity. Well, that's about it from Cowboy Conjunction. Now, I hope you all do well in the summertime reading up on it, so when you get back to school in the fall, you can do real good. The teacher will give you a couple of them their A's. Okay, be seeing you. Have a nice day. Bye now.